All right, this is a multiplication review. Again, you're doing this one if you made major mistakes in the multiplication problems. Now, remember, distributive property is different. That's when you're taking one number and actually distributing it to everything. In multiplication, you're taking one or two values, or actually two or, th two or more values times two or more values, which means that there's a mistake somewhere that you need to pay attention to. Uh, first thing you got to do is make sure you use the sign number variables method because it'll help you out with the sign of your numbers because I think some of you mess up on that part or it's because you miscount your variables or because you don't pay attention to your numbers so that's going to be important for you uh, and then just remember that whenever you combine your like terms the variable attachments do not change most of the mistakes I saw was because people messed up silly made a silly mistake on the multiplication part and instead of putting x squared they put an x and then they put that term with something else and just completely messed up everything so again just make sure you take your time but again I need to see this work here when I link these two up the sign is positive the only number here is four and there's one two x's so it should be x squared you have to go through that sign positive number four variables there are two x's here when I do this a positive times a negative is negative the only number here is two and there's only one x among those two if you just follow that sign number variables process you'll get it right so if you practice that the rest of this week you should be okay here the sign is negative the number is 12 and there is only one variable among those two and then last thing sign here negative times a negative is positive the number is six and there are no variables there and then putting that together with our ability to put, combine like terms which again is where some of you slipped up um, negative 2 and negative 12 actually go together to make negative 14x not negative 10x and again if you need to do it on the test just type it in negative 2 minus 12 or negative 2 plus negative 12 whatever it is there's really no excuse with a calculator in your hand to mess up on this part especially if you got that first line right so take some pride in your work and make sure you actually do it the right way especially whenever it counts so you don't get these things marked wrong um, that is not a good thing to have as a um, personality trait to where you don't mind messing up on something silly just because you don't want to slow down and try something different. Other than that, looking at the second one, um, again, this times that, positive is the sign. There is no number, but there are three X's. Here, it's positive. The number is three because there's only a three there, but there are two X's. Here, positive again. The only number here is two and there's only one X among them. When you go to do this one, it's positive again, and everything here is positive because every number is positive. Your number is three, and among these two, there are two X's because there's an X squared. Next link is positive. The number is three times three, which is nine, and there is only one X between them. And then the last thing is positive. The number is six, and there are no X's at all. And again, now you simply combine like terms, and please do not change your labels. X to the third comes down. 3x squared goes with 3x squared to make 6x squared. 2x goes together with 9x to make 11x. And then plus 6 is there for you to wrap that up. All right. And as it says here on this sheet, if you've made it this far, you are skilled enough to answer these questions correctly and you typically miss them because you either rush or you don't arrange them neatly uh, some people write your numbers in a weird way or you don't really take your time when you're writing your numbers and you confuse a five for a three or a two for something else and so just make sure you are taking your time through this again keep in mind you have until um, Wednesday to hand this in and before I grade it officially so if you have a bunch of these to do don't rush through them just make sure you're doing them right and then uh, Thursday, we'll go ahead and do our typical review and go from there. But like I said, other than that, just make sure you take your time, get this done, hand it in, and uh, get your points for the day. Or get your points on this assignment back so that I can keep your grade where it needs to be.